The older I get, the more I appreciate family hunts. This year, our family and a close group of friends participated in a film project with Arizona Game and Fish, which honestly felt like a huge honor to us. I'm telling you this because I captured very little film and did next to no shooting. What I did in lieu of shooting and filming was focusing on my mother returning to the hunt after 25 years of being a mom and my daughter who hunted does with us for the very first time. When the Game and Fish film airs, I will put the link in the description. And in the meantime, if you would, please allow me to share with you a little family time. We're gonna need to be in that walk. Maybe, maybe take your two boys and we'll hand walk you in there. Sit you down. After cleaning up all of our birds for the drive back to the hotel, I asked the kids, did you guys enjoy the hunt? Yeah. Best time of my life. Linda's? <laughs> Good. Nobody's, nobody's camera shy. For us, the next step in the food making process is removing the meat from the breast. Cutting right and left of the keel bone, you can just pull off each lobe and dice them up. Once the coals are hot, the jalapeno poppers are going on. We're opening jars of pickled eggs, peppers, and carrots and collectively we start skewering and marinating the dove kebabs. There is just so much going on at this point, I just forget to film. My brother made his legendary Southwest egg rolls and dove empanadas. We put together a deconstructed quesadilla filled with peppers, onions, roasted serrano, caramelized onion, cilantro. Everybody was cooking all at once. I'm going to say that the hit of the hunt was my brother's dove sushi. Check this out. He sous vide some dove in a secret marinade, cooked up some sushi grade rice, wasabi, ginger, sesame, green onions, served on a white wing branded wood plank. Holy heck, did he raise the bar. We can put the sushi restaurant out of business. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Man, that is all fun. From this point forward, I'm going to share with you nothing but random clips. We met some new friends, I got some bloopers, and then we'll close in prayer. Tell me your name. I'm Aaron. My name is Jacob McShane. I like to shoot pellet guns, and my dad said, if I can, I can shoot a BB gun. With, I can shoot a double with a pellet gun. Nice. That's gotcha. fun. Shotgun, but it just has one barrel, and a 410 is a smaller shotgun. Yeah. Wait, it's Dad, can you shotgun. get one? Well, I'll have to get one. I can't go to the store and get one right <laughs> now. you guys eat them? Did you guys eat them last year? Yeah. Did you eat some of the birds? What did you think? Um, I was going to eat them, but then um, everyone forgot me. Oh, man. Were you taking a nap or something? I was watching my YouTube video. Uh, oh, were you watching my book? <laughs> I don't, I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're going to be famous, man. You're going to be famous. Oh. 
Who's got left eye? Put your guy, keep your head up. Oh, never let your head down. Hey. Two, three hundred. Empire. <laughs> Your tan line is hilarious. You're welcome for it. You need to just go like sit out in the sun with your shirt off for like a day. Oh, it's fun hunting with your little girl. Hey, if you are on Instagram, please give us a look and a follow at Whitebone Creations. We're producing lots of little short films like this. If I had to describe the dove hunt, I think I would say it's like a family vacation that involves everyone procuring a fistful of wild protein. After cleaning and washing our micro but bountiful harvest, it turns into like the county fair, collectively preparing several meals like barbecue dove pizza, dove southwest egg rolls, Asian dove bento, dove tacos, dove armadillo eggs, the dove potato bake, dove chili, dove pesto far for all, and of course dove kebabs. All of that while sweating through your clothes and wishing you could bottle the feeling of being with family and friends and doing what God intended for us to do. I think that's how I'd say it. I would like to extend a very special thank you to Arizona Game and Fish it was a huge honor to be a part of the field project. Everybody was fantastic to work with. Let's close in prayer as we look back through a few old photos. Lord, thank you for good upbringing and thank you for giving me a family that loves to hunt. Hunting, harvesting, and making meals together as a family is the very thing that has kept us all connected. Lord, thank you for providing us this resource and showing us how to utilize, protect, and respect all animals. In your name we pray. Amen.